within a short few weeks, we've been seeing sales records on NFT pieces. Elon Musk writing a song and trying to sell as NFT. And how we can forget the $69 million piece of art that was sold as an NFT. So much has been happening. So many companies like Pizza Hub, Tacos Bell, and so many artists like Snoop Dogg, The Weeknd, Lindsay Lohan are jumping into the NFT world. But the main question that we've been also seeing in the media is, are these the signals of a top? And might be it a perfect time to sell before it all collapses. Personally, I think this question is being prematurely being asked by so many people so far. People are talking about a market crash. People are talking about the NFT were just a bubble, that it just exploded. And that's why in this video I want to show with you some data from nonfungible.com so you can see that the NFT market didn't crash just yet. And before we dive into our content, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and just leave in the comments below, do you think the NFT is a bubble? When do you think this is going to crash or if it's not going to crash? I truly believe that NFTs can change the way that so many artists sell their art and so many and create so many connections between artists and collectors and investors that maybe they thought this would never have been possible before and here is where a lot of the confusion and a lot of people get so skeptical about buying and investing in NFTs first you gotta understand that when you buy an NFT the same value that you see in that specific token may not be the same one that I'm gonna see that other people are gonna see as well even if you're buying an exclusive song from a famous artist or even um, that DJ or producer that you love so much the value that you're gonna buy that you're gonna purchase that song maybe is not gonna be the same that I would buy that song so that is a huge point because again like I've been saying so many times the market is the one who is going to determine that price tag so the perceived value of that token of the NFT it's going to depend to who you're going to sell to maybe you wouldn't pay 69 million dollars for a piece of art but that was sold to a collector an investor who saw that NFT and thought that digital art was value that much money now why this is important for you to understand because I truly believe that between 85 to 95 percent of all the NFTs that are being sold right now are not gonna have the same ROI that you're looking to um, generate from it but that doesn't necessarily means that you're not going to be able to sell to resell an NFT and get a good return on investment and also that doesn't necessarily means that even if you're just starting as an artist you won't be able to sell your NFT that means that you need to do your research you need to know what platforms you should look out for the NFTs and how you can make sure that that piece of art is having a value. Nonfungible.com is a great platform not only for you to see some data that is happening on the NFT world but also for you to do some research when you were trying to buy a specific collection and a specific project, a token and you're not sure if that token is worth in the market or not especially if you're investing that's something you should look out to but remember Remember, not all the projects are listed on nonfungible.com is the same goes for all the artists if you want to submit your artists for nonfungible.com this is a great way that you can keep track of your project of how much your price goes up and down during you know the life the la during the lifetime of your nft now for us to understand a little bit about the crash of nft why people are saying it is it's a bubble we should look at the average price of in NFT and if you look in this graphic you can see that in mid-February we had an average price at $4,000 NFT and now we are seeing the average price at $1,500 now if you think about just six months ago the same average price was at $142 which means that this price represents an increase of around 10 times more 
Now we also need to understand when there is an excitement in the market, the tendency is to go up and to go down. Some projects will crash, some projects will stabilize, which I truly believe that's the path that the NFT is going for. When people are realizing more how the technology and these are combined can be beneficial all the way around, we will stay in this market just the ones who want to keep investing, keep collecting and the ones who see the perceived value of an NFT, not the inspiring investors, not the inspiring, the inspiring NFT artists, you know, will, which means that the market, instead of having a widely range of pricing tag, will come down to this specific market who is very interested in the NFTs, not only people who are curious about, not only the people who are just wanting to see if they can sell something in the market. So the shift, this curve in the market was predictable. That what happens every single time when something something has an excitement. The price goes up and then go down, but it didn't crash just yet, which I know some people are just waiting for this bubble to explode and they're very disappointed right now seeing the data that I'm showing to you. But if you also think about the volume of the NFT trades per week, we have doubled that number. Before we had 20, an average of 20,000 trades being made every week. Now we are at $40,000, which helps the market just increase its value around the NFTs. Now, there are projects in the market, they're very, very promising, like the crypto punks the crypto punks were a very interesting project that they created 10,000 pieces unique tokens that were specifically to empower the nft artists and collectors and initially you could get one for free and they were claimed so fast that now they are being sold with so much money if you look at this this if you look at this graphic right here you can see that the average price of an nft from the crypto punks collection went from 2500 to 95900 which was a huge jump but and then this price didn't stay at 95900 this price dropped to 45000 but it didn't drop nearly to the initial average price that means that we are not only seeing the increase on the sales and on the average price of the NFT in general that went from $142 in October 2020 to $1,500 nowadays but also we see this increase of price in NFT projects which is very beneficial for each artist that are selling NFTs. Like there are so many projects out, out there that is seeing, seeing like increase of sales and increasing of visibility of their work. Um, they are seeing the change in the way they sell their NFT, the, the way they control their own art. I can be totally wrong, but I truly believe that the NFT market is here to stay and to change the life of so many artists, to change the way that they control their art your project what do you think do you think the market is going to crash or you think the market is just stabilizing is just in this stabilizing process what are your thoughts about it leave in the comments below i'd love to hear your thoughts and learn more with you well this is all i have for you today i hope you enjoyed the video thank you so much for being here with me don't forget to subscribe on our youtube channel and i'll see you in our next video